Hey guys, Magenta is back here today again with another deck profile. Okay, so before going on to the deck profile, just some good news to share. So, I have reached 100 subscribers! Woo! Okay, so thank you all of you, the special 100 people. Yeah, special 100 people that subscribe. So, thank you for your support. Yeah, so there'll be, yeah, there wouldn't be a sub-special video, just, yeah, just this deck profile to talk about it, just the front part. Okay, so let's get on with the deck profile. So the next milestone will be at 125 subscribers, so I'll probably do like a giveaway of some sort. Yeah, so this deck is, of course, a Danger World deck, so... My armor knight uh, ace build. So isn't the best deck out there at the moment, but yeah, I still like it. So it's currently unsleeved. I kind of rush this deck out. Yeah, still unsleeved, but just bear with it. Okay, so my e uh buddy is armor knight eagle. Can use Cerberus ace, but. I feel like uh, I like a body with no restrictions and size 0 is perfect because you can call it any point in the game yeah as long as you have an open space in the field okay so let's get on to size 3 monsters so first up we have two armor knight lethal drake so this card it's a size, size 3 monster with 8k power, 8k defense. Call cost of 3 gauge, put a monster from a few into your drop zone. So when this card attacks for this battle, this card gets crit equal to the sum of crit of your items and your opponent item. So it's pretty damn good. So it's pretty darn good if you ask me. So yeah, I'll talk more about it later. So just remember the skill. It gains crit equals to the sum of the crit of your item and your opponent's item. Yeah. Okay, so next size 3 monster. We have two Armor Knight Black Drake. So just the vanilla size 3. Yeah, you know sometimes you don't have a weapon, you just use him to swing for 4 crits with 9k power. Pretty good. So that's all for size 3, so you can play more, I mean late game you equip a weapon, equip a weapon and just swing at your opponent with a size 3 monster and size 0, yeah. So size 2 monsters for Armor Knight Cerberus, Ace. So his skill, pay 1 gauge, if you have 5 life or less, you may put this card from the field into your soul into the soul of your weapon. So if this card is in the soul of your weapon, that weapon gets 2 crits. So of course the 2 crits stack with the Armonite Lethal Drake. So yeah and it has an ability. So this ability yeah you can use it in the soul of your weapon. So you pay 3 gauge and your weapon gets 3 crit. Yeah so it's pretty really really good. Yeah, so basically for the passive and the active effect. So I'm not too sure if you can stack multiple Cerberus Ace in your soul, but no, probably not since it's the same skill. Yeah, however, this is pretty solid card with 6k of each stat, and 6k is a magic number, so many cards only have a 5k attack. Okay, so you can. The Roaring Charge skill is very useful for finishing off your opponent. Sorry about that, let me just shift the camera. Yeah, so definitely a main card of the deck makes this deck really really strong. So run at max copies. So next size 2, just a vanilla to fill. So 4 copies, Armonite Chimera. So yeah, it's nothing to it, it's just vanilla with 6k attack, 7k defense, 
and two crits. Okay. So for the size one monsters, I play four of these. I'm gonna Gargu Ace. So it's a size one with only one crit and stats are not ideal at all. So escape for except for the 4k defense, that's pretty good. So skill. If you have a five if you have five life or less, put this card from the field into a soul of your weapon. So skill counter act during an attack on your opponent's turn, put this card from the soul of your weapon to the drop zone if you do not fire the attack. So essentially it's running four additional knife fires. Yeah. So it's just a knife fire size one monster. Cause <coughs> sorry about that. Got a little sick these few days. So it's just uh danger world having limited uh knife fires you use Gargu Ace. Yeah. So next we play our favorite monster, Armonite Ogre. So favorite monster in Danger World, so skill 5k attack, 3k defense, 2k power, 2 crits, what am I saying? So it's just a very solid card. Solid card can get rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah. And lastly for the size one we play two Armonite Eagle Ace. So Stats are better than Armonite Gargu Ace. So with skill, if you have 5 level or less, blah blah blah, put it into the soul of your weapon. So if this card is in the soul of your weapon, the weapon on your field cannot be returned to hand nor destroyed. Which makes your weapon really OP. You can run more if you like, but I think 2 copies of this just suits me because I do not like these stats. Danger is renowned for its high stat monsters, so yeah. So actually it looks really really cool as compared to the original. I mean Ammonites all look cool. But the Ace just looks really cool. Okay, so lastly four copies of our body monsters, size zero monsters. Because we are running a size three four size three build path, so we need to run size zeros. You can play more size zeros, like six. Six is a good number too. However, yeah, I think my deck, yeah, there's more, there's not enough space for that. I mean, it works both ways. You can use lesser spells and all, and run more monsters. So, spell cards, two, survival chance. So, pay one gauge, you may only cast this card if your life is five or less. So, draw two cards, you may only cast this card once per turn. So essentially, something like a nice one, however that's a health restriction, yeah. Next, we play 2 Fang Dragon Declaration, yeah, if you can see, so you may only cast this card when one card on your field is attacking and your opponent casts a spell card, so pay 2 gauge and pay 1 life, nullify the spell cast by an opponent. So how this card works is essentially you attack with a card, one card, one card, attack, your opponent casts a spell to counter, either destroy the card or return card to your hand, blah blah blah, or just simply nullify the attack, reduce the damage. So you cast this card, nullify his uh, spell, could be any spell anyway. So, yeah, so the spell effects will be gone as well, which means if he nullifies, the attack will go through. Yeah, so basically, yeah, finishing off your opponent, use this, he won't expect it. So be sure to keep your gauge up because yeah, pay two gauge. And the life cost as well. So next, final battle skill Magi Demon Slay. So basically just to restrict your opponent from calling monsters to the center. So you can fight like a man. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girls play body fight too. Yeah, so so just uh, decrease your opponent's defenses so suitable against all, uh, all decks with many monsters like I don't know Katana or uh, Adventurous which is what what world is that? Dungeon world yeah had a little mind fart there okay next Demon Slay Barrier so you may only cast this card if one or more 
cards on your field would be destroyed and you do not have a monster in the center. So one of those cards remain on the field. Yeah, so this card doesn't have too much of a restriction, just do not have a monster in the center. Yeah, so actually it works in a lot of scenarios, like when you play a monster, your opponent destroys it and you use this to prevent its destruction yeah that's just one of the common ways so next two copies bold, ret bold retaliation so you may only cast this card when you are dealt damage so put cards from the top of the deck equal to that number of damage dealt to you into your gauge which means if you are hit with a 3 crit monster and you take 3 damage you charge 3 gauge. Pretty good, if you ask me. It's better than uh, the Dragonic Charge, which is a uh, lot of our meditation. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so 4 copies of Battle Aura Circle, which is your standard nullifiers. Yeah. So. That's about it for the spells, so okay, let's get on with the items. So items uh kinda rush this deck out so I don't have Rick Doe yet. Yeah. So four hysteric spear. So pay two gauge with penetrate. So there's this <coughs> sorry about that. Uh there's this uh ammonite ace monster which gives your weapon a penetrate. Just can't think of the name at the moment. However, if you already have a weapon with penetrate, you do not need that card. That's why I don't have it in my deck. So for hysteric spear. And kind of weird build path. So two demonic spear swirling darkness just for three crits and two vanilla weapons boding piercer spear. So when I get rigged though I'll replace these low power weapons. Yeah. So lastly, two impact cards, drill bunker, pay two gauge, uh, give your weapon 4k power, two crits, and penetrate. And if the weapon is then attack with it. Yeah. So basically, just to finish off your opponent, uh, penetrate is really really useful because some nullifying spells require the uh, require the center to be open. However, if he has a monster in the center, you just penetrate and you do like. 2 crits plus, I don't know, 3 crits, 2 crits, plus your Cerberus Ace, wow, equals OP. Not even gonna try and count. Okay guys, so that's it for the deck profile on my Ammonite Cerberus Ace deck, or just an Ammonite, Ammonite Ace deck in general. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, Leave a like down below to show me some support. So if you're new to my channel, do subscribe for more body fight, vanguard, yeah, product reviews and tech profiles and stuff like that. So hope to see you in the next video. Bye!